Storm Track Weather with meteorologist Gabriela Gomez. We've been holding on to the lower 90s for a few days now. The other thing we've been seeing for at least the past two nights is those overnight strong to severe thunderstorms. Good news for tonight, we really don't like to see any of those storms. You should get hopefully a full night's rest tonight, not be awoken by any of that thunder or see any of that lightning as we go on throughout the evening. We do stay mild, mostly clear. Temperatures fall into the lower 70s, but we really keep on this heat throughout the rest of the weekend. Lots of sunshine both Saturday and Sunday. Afternoon highs stay in those 90s as well. Could feel like maybe triple digits as we head into Saturday afternoon doesn't last too long about Tuesday or so that's where we could see a cold front that will try and move on through it could trigger a couple thunderstorms that we'll keep an eye on as we head throughout Tuesday but the good news is right after that humidity backs off temperatures back off as well will fall back down into about the lower 80s or so so not too bad especially after we've been dealing with this heat for the last several days and we'll continue to deal with it heading on into this week at 10 degrees above where we should be this afternoon even started mild this morning in the 60s definitely very hot outside most areas did get down to the lower 90s middle 90s for some of our western counties for the afternoon high doesn't feel like it out there though it feels a lot warmer as you head on out the door this evening feels like 101 at Forbes Field 100 degrees in Manhattan 99 for Junction City even in Hiawatha feels like 98 degrees so take today put it into tomorrow and it could feel maybe even a little bit warmer we keep the clear skies tonight really throughout the daytime as well tomorrow too plenty of sunshine it's really not going to help us it's going to help us warm up not something I'm sure a lot of us want to see dry and clear overnight into Sunday even throughout the day Sunday as well so we really see kind of calm conditions not really any chances for that rain but the temperatures not going to be too fun we hold on to those 90s for tomorrow Sunday even on Monday as well with very little rain chances and it's going to feel a lot warmer future heat index for tomorrow afternoon pretty close to where we're feeling right now if not a little bit warmer holding on to that warm air with those dew points in the 70s that's what's really hurting us I still think it'll feel maybe middle to upper 90s heading on into Sunday afternoon as well. So because of this extensive heat, we really see this heat advisory taking place tomorrow afternoon. Start about 1 o'clock in the afternoon and last until 7 in the evening. For the following counties highlighted in this orange color here, the big takeaway is this is kind of the first heat wave of the season. A lot of our bodies are not acclimated to this heat yet, so you really want to take it easy and limit your time outside over the course of the weekend. But eventually we do see that cold front that will move on through kind of off on the west coast right now, and we'll feel a little bit of that cooler air kind of make its way towards us. So still warm on Monday really still kind of hold on to a little bit of that heat on Tuesday. It depends on the timing of the thunderstorms and when we see that front finally move on through. But you can see we cool down heading on into Wednesday morning and don't really warm up nearly as much for Wednesday afternoon and evening. So humidity with us for the next couple of days, but it really drops off quite drastically as we head on into Tuesday. So we got to get through this weekend. I know a lot of pools aren't open, but there's other ways you can find to help cool off this weekend as we stay in the 90s. Again, could feel like those triple digits tomorrow afternoon. Keeping an eye on that chance for some storms on Tuesday. Good news with those storms. We really start to see some signs of relief with the humidity backing off and those temperatures falling back into the lower 80s. So right around where we should be as we enter about the middle part of June. Well, that's good to know. I will say the storms that came through last night, mercy. Those yeah. things were loud. Oh, they woke me up. Ooh, shaking sure. the whole house. Yeah, kind of felt the thunder right through my chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>